Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome you to my second favorite horror movie of all time, and that is Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Now, I didn't use music in the intro because I got an email yesterday from YouTube um, about the song that I used in the, the Halloween 3 review. Um, I did not get a strike on my account yet. They said that might change. They said I might get a strike. But, you know, I, the, the thing that gets me is I don't understand how they know that you're putting music in, in, in videos. Do they sit there and monitor every single video that gets uploaded? I don't think so. But I don't know how that all works. But, you know, I'm just not going to include music anymore because the last thing I want is to get a fucking strike and I can only do, like, a 10-minute video and stuff like that. And that's bullshit. But, you know, that's just my opinion on that. But... You know, it's only because YouTube is corporate now and, you know, they're on the stock exchange and everything, so... But that's all bullshit. Who cares? But, you know, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, is my favorite of the series. I think it's the best one in the series. I think it's better than the original movie, in my opinion. I like it more than Freddy vs. Jason. I can't, um, you know, say that I like that one more. But I will talk more in depth about the ranking system you know, in a minute here, or at the end of the video, probably. But Part 6 basically takes place a few years after Part 4. I think they ignore Part 5 in this one. But Tommy Jarvis is actually still haunted by, you know, the memories of Jason. And, you know, um, he basically, he leaves the mental hospital that he's at to go find Jason's grave and destroy him for good. But he ends up accidentally bringing him back to life, and Jason is once again on a mad killing spree in Camp Crystal Lake. And that's basically the plot in a nutshell. Uh, for a Friday the 13th film, I don't really think you need, you know, a whole huge elaborate plot line. But, you know, anyway. But, you know, at this point in the, in the series, you know, Jason had died. And Part 5, you know, they said, you know, the Part 4 was the last one. But they ended up making a Part 5, a new beginning. You know, and, you know, basically, you know, that one, it wasn't really Jason doing the killing. So at this point, you know, they're like, well, you got to bring back Jason. So they decided to bring back Jason for this one and have him, you know, become now. He's supernatural and he's a zombie and he can, you know, do all these out of the world, out of the world kind of kills and stuff like that. You know, and Michael Myers would do the same thing in part four when they brought him back. But, you know... Despite what people say about Part 5, I absolutely love it. I think it's a great entry. Uh, it's my second favorite next to Jason Lives. But, you know, at this time also, the world was changing. You know, the, uh, the slasher film was starting to fade away. You know, people weren't really interested in seeing slasher films. So I think every, you know, franchise at this point was trying to do their best, you know, to hold on. And, you know... Freddy had, 86, Freddy took a year off, you know, this was in between part two and three, and Michael Myers had yet to be resurrected, you know, but, you know, just, I think that a lot of the films from this time period are, are very underrated, like Jason Lives, because, you know, the, at this point, the, 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 the genre was changing and the world was changing, but, you know, this one is, uh, it's great because it's got action, it's got comedy, it's got a little bit of everything in this one. And, you know, Jason, uh, played by C.J. Graham, is my absolute favorite. I thought he did a great job uh, playing Jason. Um, the special effects are really great in this one. The kills are really good. Uh, some really cool, very memorable kill sequences. You know, you actually care about the characters. You know, it actually takes place on Friday the 13th. You actually see kids at the camp. You know, so yeah, there's a lot of reasons why this one's my favorite. Um, but you know, just I think it's also because it, um, it's the first one that I saw. You know, I remember because I remember when I first started getting more into the horror films, you know, when I was in like sixth, seventh grade. I remember Friday the 13th, they would always show them on Cinemax, but they would come on at like five o'clock in the morning. So I remember I would get up extra early before school to, to watch some of these. And Jason Lives was actually the first one that I snuck up early for to watch. You know, so that was really cool. They would, yeah, they would come on at like 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that. So I would try to get up early, really early, 
so I could watch them. Um, excuse me. So part six is actually the first one I saw in its entirety. I'd seen bits of part five before in uh, final chapter. I'd seen bits of, but this was the first one that I saw the whole thing of. You know, and, and I love it. I mean, it's, you know, I loved it then, and I mean, it's always been my favorite entry. It's always been my favorite one. Um, just, you know, everything about it's great. You know, and you got the soundtrack from Alice Cooper. He's back. He's the man behind the mask. And I'm a teenage Frankenstein. Da, da, da. And hard rock summer in the USA. You know, just great music. You know, great. It's that time period. It's that the, the, the end of the mid-80s, you know, the hair metal explosion, you know, before grunge hit. You know, but, you know, that's just what that is. But I love, you know, hair metal. But, you know, just overall, it's a great movie. You know, Tom Matthews, who played Tommy Jarvis, I think he did a great job. You know, he's been in a bunch of movies. He was in the first two Return of the Living Dead movies. You know, he's been in a lot of films, you know, uh, a lot of B movies. But he's still a very good actor, in my opinion. Tom McLaughlin, the director, I thought he did a great job, you know, and the script. I thought he did a great job writing it. And, it, you know, this movie, it doesn't take itself seriously, you know, and it makes fun of, you know, the the principles of the horror film and, and that kind of thing. And I think that's why also a lot of people enjoy it because it doesn't take itself seriously. You know, it's like it, it has fun. And, and that's what you have to do with your movies. You can't just be serious all the time. you got to have fun, you know, with it. So I think that's also why a lot of people regard this one very highly. But... You know, in terms of, you know, the scenes, you know, I love the, the pre-title sequence, you know, with, uh, where they go to get, you know, they're going to burn Jason and, you know, he ends up getting resurrected, you know, and he gets, you know, uh, Horshack gets his, or his uh, heart ripped out and everything and, you know, the whole, I love the Bond title sequence, I thought that was great, how they did that, I, th I thought it was a very nice touch for that, um, you know, I like, uh, I love the sheriff, the guy who plays the sheriff. I love that scene, you know, when they're, when Tommy's like, you know, I buried him, or I, I, we un, you know, we opened his casket, and he, I fucked up, and he's like, you're damn right, you kid, kid, you did. You know, just great stuff. I love the kill with, uh, with the car, you know, the, Jason, you know, stabs the car with the, uh, the cemetery gate, you know, the pole, and, uh, stabs the guy, and kills the girl, and she's trying to pay off Jason with her American Express card, you know, that's, that's good stuff, uh, the paintball sequence, everybody remembers, now, the paintball sequence, um, it's actually a different guy playing Jason in that scene, and you can actually, uh, tell that it, it's a different guy, but I love that, you know, everybody remembers the triple decapitation, you know, just great stuff, and then everybody remembers, uh, the jan or not the janitor, uh, the caretaker, but he played Bud the janitor on Boy Meets World, so I was close, you know. Some people have a strange idea of entertainment, you know. Great character uh, in that mood, you know. What do they think I am, a fart head? You know, uh, his kill uh, t was actually added. They What happened was they tested the movie, and Frank Mancuso... I, oh, this is what happened. Frank Mancuso actually was promoted to the head of Paramount. That's why he's not the producer starting on this one. He was, um, they basically promoted him, which is cool. I mean, that's cool. But he said you need more kills in it. So they shot the kill with uh, with the caretaker, which you know, he gets stabbed in the throat with the bottle, which is, that's actually kind of a funny sequence, you know, where he throws it. Yeah, I didn't hear it break, you know. It's pretty kind of creepy, but funny at the same time. And then when Jason stabs the two, the, uh, the two, uh, the couple up in the woods, you know, they're, you know, fooling around. You know, he kills them. That was added. Uh, you know, everybody remembers the, uh, the camper scene where the girl gets her face pushed through the, uh, the, the side of the camper and, um, you know, the guy gets the knife stuck in his ear and the, you know, the camper flips over. Everybody remembers that sequence. Um, and then the finale, I mean, er the finale is great, you know, where, you know, all the other counselors get killed off, and, you know, you think Jason's going to kill the kids, but he's really not. Then you have that fight out on the lake, um, you know, which is great with the fire, and, 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 you know, he takes Jason down to the grave. And I love when 
you know, Tommy's reading all those occult books and stuff like that. It just, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, it, you kind of laugh at it. But, I mean, it, it, you know, ends up working in his favor at the end of the movie, which is pretty cool. But, you know, the ending is great with the fight. You know, and the guy gets his back broken, and the other guy gets the dart in his head, and the other guy gets his head squeezed. You know, a lot of great kills, once again, you know, in this one. Um, but, you know, that's that's just how the Friday the 13th films are, just great kills. But overall, you know, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, is a classic. It's a, a great uh, entry in the series. It's, it's the best, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, it's just a great movie. Can't say any more about that, except it's a great movie. And how I rank them, uh, part one is great. I mean, it's a classic, you know. It, it basically established the gore in slasher films, I guess, if you want to say that. Part two is a great sequel. I actually like that more than part one. Part three I really didn't care for. Final chapter is good, but, you know, everybody says the final chapter is their favorite, you know, so that's why. You know, I, I like, I mean, I like the movie. It's good, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I just kind of rank it lower because, you know, everybody says that that's their favorite. A New Beginning is great. I love that one. You know, Jason Lives, I just talked about for however many minutes. I know this one's going to be shorter. Um, the New Blood I thought was really good. I think that one's the most underrated. You know, John Beekler did a great job on that one. I actually like Jason Takes Manhattan. I thought it was better than Part 3 and Part 9 and Part 10. So, Jason Goes to Hell is my least favorite. I just, I really don't care for that film at all. Um, you know, I just, I'm trying to get rid of the DVD because, you know, I bought it. And I was like, eh, you know, it's it's alright. You know, I just, I don't, I just didn't buy into that whole story. I just didn't care for it. Jason X is fun. I mean, just the concept is fun. You know, Jason in Outer Space. And uh, Freddy vs. Jason is great. I mean, we waited so long for that movie, and it definitely uh, paid off in the end. But, you know, great movie as well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Like I said, I know this one's going to be a little bit shorter. But, you know, I, I, I think I talked about it enough in my previous review. But, I mean, just a great movie, a great entry, you know. Just, I think I still think it's the best one in my opinion. So anyway, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Halloween to review my favorite horror film of all time, which I'm not going to give you a hint. You'll just have to wait to see that one. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.